Hello there, my name is Ashraf and I'm here to talk to you about lanes in space. This is a new topic. And uh, the concept of lanes in space, we are trying to determine the different true lengths of these different lanes as they exist in space. And as you know, the distortion of the eye and some physics there, we always tend to work with lanes that are actually not the true lengths of those lanes. So in this topic, we learn how to determine true lengths learn how to get vertices, learn how to get traces. So join me as we explore in this topic. So uh, first things first, we are going to determine the true length of a line AB. We are given the elevation and we are given the plan. And to do this, we are going to use two methods. And the first method is the auxiliary method. And this is very simple. What you do, simply choose one of these two elevations. In this case, I'm going to choose the elevation and then you simply draw lines that are perpendicular to this uh, view. So draw the perpendicular line. And also a perpendicular line. And then I'm going to draw a line somewhere here and this is going to be my reference line so after doing that i'm going to take my measurements from the plan as this is the auxiliary method so stand onto this line mark off up to point a in the plan come to your reference line here mark it off then also come and mark off uh, measure b from the reference line here then stand on your reference line and mark it off so this is going to be a prime prime and this will be b prime prime so when i join these two points whatever that i get is going to be the true length of that line so this here is the true length of line a b and like i told you this is called the auxiliary method then we also have another method and we call it the rebatement method and let us look at exactly that so just like in the auxiliary method we're going to choose one of these two i'm going to choose the plan in this case and then after choosing the plan simply get a horizontal line and slide and put a horizontal line to any of these two points it can be a or point b i've chosen point a then after doing that you stand at that chosen point a then you open your compass up to the other point b and then you rebate that point that's why you call it the rebatement method. So I've rebated point B to come to this point here. Then after doing that, I, I slide a vertical line uh, to that point that I've rebated and take it into the elevation, just like that. Uh -huh, just like that. Then after doing that, since I've rebated point B, I'm also going to draw a horizontal line from point B to meet that vertical line there. So slide a vertical line, sorry, slide a horizontal line to point B. And where it meets the vertical line that has been uh, drawn from the rebated point here, you're simply going to join this point with point A, this other side. And what you get here, uh, the lines were too close, they're almost together. And what you get here is called the true length. So I'm going to redo this in this very example here. So join me. I'm saying we are going to choose a point. Let us choose point A in the elevation this time. So choose point A, uh, draw a horizontal line there. Stand at the chosen point A, open your compass to the next point B, then rebate point B. After rebating point B, we said simply get a vertical line and slide it to that point then draw that vertical line downwards after doing that get a horizontal line and put it at point b the rebated point and where it meets the line from the elevation from the rebated point simply join that point with point a just like that and i'm saying this here is what we call the true length of line a b and if you try to measure this distance here you're going to realize that it's the same as this distance up there. Uh -huh. So that is how we can get the true length. First, 
by the auxiliary method and also using the rebatement method. Rebatement method. Perfect. Now, after doing that, let us proceed and see how we can determine the traces of these lines. Now, what's a trace? Uh, the concept of a trace is very simple. A trace, when we see through a line, if we are seeing through this line, this is line AB, whatever we see is going to be a dot somewhere here. So this is going to be called the trace of line AB. So then whatever, uh, what we need to know before we get into traces is that the elevation, uh, this goes for general lines in space, the elevation will always correspond to the vertical plane and the vertical plane always corresponds to the vertical trace. So the elevation corresponds to the vertical plane, the elevation corresponds to the vertical trace. Keep that at the back of your head. Then the plan will always correspond to the horizontal plane and it will also correspond to the horizontal trace. So that means if I'm seeing through, let me take you back here. If I see through a plan, if this is a plan, whatever trace I get down here is going to be a horizontal trace. Why? Because we've said that the plan corresponds with the horizontal trace. So if I see through an elevation, the trace that I get is going to be a vertical trace. Why? Because I'm seeing through an elevation and we are saying that elevations actually correspond to vertical planes and vertical traces. Perfect. So let's dive in. So how do we get these traces? It's very simple. What you do is you're going to simply prolong this line, this reference line in the middle. Then what you do, you're going to prolong the elevation until it meets that line. And once it meets that line, simply slide a vertical line to that point where the two have met. So if the two are meeting there, slide a line there. And then after sliding the line, I'm going to see through this plan here. So see through a B. And you're going to realize that this line that I'm using to see through is meeting the vertical line at this point. And since I'm seeing through the plan, that dictates that whatever I get is the horizontal trace of line AB. Why is it a horizontal trace? Because we said a plan corresponds with the horizontal plane and also the horizontal trace. So since we are seeing through a plan, that means whatever we are getting is a horizontal trace. So to get the vertical trace, simply prolong the plan until it meets the horizontal line in the middle. Once it meets the horizontal line, you're going to slide a vertical line there. So slide a vertical line here. So after sliding a vertical line, you're going to see through the elevation and produce a line until it meets that line that you've just drawn. So see through this and you're going to realize that once I see through this elevation, where this line meets this vertical line, this is going to be the vertical trace of line AB. Why is it a vertical trace? Because we are seeing through the elevation. And we say elevations correspond to the vertical traces. Perfect. Uh, let us try it out with uh, another example. The horizontal trace of line AB. So what do we do? We said, first of all, prolong the middle line. And since we are de determining the horizontal trace of this line AB, that means we have to see through the plan. And since we are seeing through the plan, that means I first of all prolong AB, the elevation, to meet this middle line. And once it meets the middle line, I get this point right here. I slide a vertical line and put it at this point right here. So after putting a vertical line there, then I see through the plan and where that line that is seen through meets the vertical line, this would be our horizontal trace of line AB. And I'm sure this makes total sense for you. Yes, so now that we know lines, uh, we are going to apply the same concept. The same very, the very same concept. Um, for planes. So we have a plane here and 
we are tasked to determine the true shape of this plane. So there are many ways of doing this. We can determine uh, true lengths of individual lines and then later on draw the true shape of that, uh, draw the true shape of this lamina by joining those lines. Or we can use another method that we're going to see in this example too. But for example one, let us determine the true lengths of the individual lines and then join those lines together to get the true shape. Perfect. So I'm going to use the um, auxiliary method. So I'm going to start off with line BC. So we said simply project perpendicular lines onto the line that whose true length you're determining. So perpendicular lines. So for CB, you're going to pick the dimensions from the elevation. So pick the distance from the reference line to C. Come here, mark it off. Pick the distance from the reference line to B. Then come right here and mark it off. So what we are getting here is the true length of C, B. Perfect. Then I'm going to proceed um, to line AB. So get uh, project perpendicular lines onto AB, just like that. And then put a reference line somewhere here. Then come and measure the distance AB from the reference line to A. Then come right here, mark it off. Then uh, measure the reference line from uh, the, the measurement from the reference line to B, come right here, mark it off. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the true length of, this is the true length of AB. So it's going to be A prime prime, B prime prime. This is C prime prime, B prime prime. And finally, we need to get the true length of AC. So in the same way, simply grab, um, Put perpendicular lines onto these two points. And after doing that, put a reference line somewhere there. Then pick the distance from the reference line to A. Come right here, mark it off. Then pick the distance from the reference line to C. This distance here, come right here, mark it off. So I need to project to prolong this line here. So this point here is A prime prime and this is C prime prime. So this here, ladies and gentlemen, is the true length of line SC. So after getting the true lengths of all those lines, I simply join them together to get the true shape. So do that by drawing a line in whichever way that is convenient for you. I'm going to start off with getting AB. So measure the true length of AB. Come right here and mark it off. So I'm calling this point A and I'm calling this point B. Then I can decide to get the true length of BC. So the true length of BC is right here. So I'll stand at B and draw an arc. Then I get the true length of AC. Then I measure AC. So stand at A and draw an arc. So this is point C prime prime. So when I join, ladies and gentlemen, what I get is the true length, the true shape of that triangular lamina, all the triangular plane. So this here, ladies and gentlemen, is the true shape. So I'll name it as that. Hello there. Just like we were saying um, that you can determine the true shape of a triangular lamina by simply determining the true lengths of the different lines on the lamina and then joining these true lengths together to get this true shape or we can actually use another method and this method is very simple so follow me here as we dive into this other method so the method dictates that simply choose a point it can either be in the elevation or in the plan in this case i'm going to choose point a and point a is in the elevation so slide a horizontal line to point a until that horizontal line meets the opposite 
face in, which is in this case CB and as you can see I predicted a horizontal line from A to meet CB at this point here so as it reaches that point I slide a vertical line from that point or along CB until that line meets CB still. Now this is the trick guys. The point from A, the line from A met line CB. So this line that you're drawing to that plan still has to meet line CB. So this is the point in the plan. And once it meets um, CB in the plan, it came from A. So join A with the line through that point right there like that and once you get that you're going to simply slide um, that very line onto all these other points so like that and finally like that and after doing that you're going to put a reference line somewhere here along those lines and then since we are taking now the dimensions from the elevation and I'm going to start off with B so come right here measure B come here and measure B and I'm going to proceed to A okay C so come right here measure C and come to the reference line mark of C and finally I'm going to measure point A so come right here and mark of A and uh, like we said, this is going to be B prime prime, then this will be A prime prime, and this is C prime prime. When I join these points, you're going to realize that we get a completely a straight line, just like that. And that is okay, this is a straight line, and it's going to be an auxiliary elevation. This is going to be an auxiliary elevation. And then after getting that straight line, we are going to project lines from this straight line that are actually perpendicular to it. So project lines that are perpendicular to these straight lines. That is my first line. Next line. And finally, we have this line here. And then I'm going to put a reference line somewhere here like this. And then using this reference line, I'm going to take measurements from this line here towards the plan. So I'll start off by measuring C. So stand up the reference point, measure C, come to point C along the reference line, mark it off. Then I'm going to measure A. So come right here, mark off A. And finally, I'm going to measure B. So come right here and measure b so this is a prime prime uh sorry this is c prime prime then this is a prime prime and finally b prime prime so when i join these together i'm going to get the true shape of that triangular lamina perfect so whatever we've gotten now is the true shape of the triangular lamina thank you for watching see you in my next video about lanes in space.